What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. And in this video I want to talk about, I've heard it by a couple of YouTubers that they are now trading AMC and GME on Robinhood 24 hours a day now. Okay, they're talking about doing that to the whole market. I've been heard that before, but it's not really shocking that AMC and GME would be on the 24-hour list now because they need you and me to do one of two things. Now, I've watched the other videos and I've seen what the YouTubers are saying and I agree with Donahue, all right? I just watched his video and he was saying that the reason they put AMC and GME on Robinhood's 24-hour list was because they need liquidity. They need you to press that buy button and give them your money. And I agree with Donahue. I agree 100% with Mr. Donahue, all right? But like I shared with him in a text a little while ago, there's another side of the coin. And he said, what's the other side of the coin? I said, well, you're talking about they want you to press the buy button. And I said, and I'm saying the other side of the coin would be they want you to press the sell button. All right. So we got to talking about that. And I said, well, let me go ahead and shoot the video. And here's the deal, people. A lot of people focus. I'm reading my notes here. A lot of people focus on the shorts have to cover. All right. And they do eventually. And they will eventually. Uh. But that's not the focus, all right? It's not the shorts have to cover. It's the brokers that have to cover right now. And Robinhood is a broker. And now they've turned these on, and I'm expecting pretty strong price action coming up pretty soon or even almost immediately. I don't know. But I know this. I know that if they run this motherfucker up to $15 and $20, how many people will be selling? Now, you need to understand, because this is the other side of the coin. They want you to press the sell button. And if the price runs up to $15 and $20 and people start hitting their sell button, what's going to happen? All right? The brokers will begin to cover. Because if you hit the sell button, you will get cash in your account. All right, in exchange for that share that you have. All right? So, now, what happens? They don't have a share. So, what's going on here is every time somebody hits a sell button, they have to take out of their pocket and put it on the table, and it now belongs to you. All right? But you got to hit the sell button. And I don't think there's enough people hitting the sell button. And I think that they're going to have a violent run-up with AMC and GME. And they're counting on people late at night selling when it runs up because of the FUD articles that they'll be putting out. And the shields that'll be talking about sell, 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 blah, blah, blah. But I'm not going to say buy or sell. But I'm just letting y'all know there's two sides to the coin. They either need your money or they want to get out of that fucking synthetic position now and the only way they can do it is if people start selling. And people, I don't want to hear the bullshit. I'm not, I'm, ain't nobody selling. Man, motherfuckers is going to sell. Take my word for it. <laughs> but just, all I can tell you is whichever one is right, if, they, if they're wanting you to b press the buy button, it's because they need your money. And if they want you to press the sell button, that means the stock's going to run up. And they'll be counting on people selling so they can get out of that synthetic position and be finished with it. All right. So, now, hope that helped a little bit on getting y'all's perspective. There's another side to the story when it comes to why Robin Hood is allowing people to buy and sell AMC and GME and you got to be prepared for whichever one it is or else when it happens it'll catch you by surprise 